As the workplace continues to evolve, more and more folks find themselves working from home. So here are 11, I mean 11, remote jobs that are hiring. Several of these pay six, even seven figures, and many of which you will not find on any random Google search. Hey, uh, Keala is a uh, editor on that list. No, Sam, I'm talking about important roles. Joining us is my man, Keala and I. Number one is gonna be a copywriter. This is one of my favorites. In fact, this is one of the first skills that I learned online, and this skill set alone has made me millions of dollars. So what is a copywriter? Well, that is the art of generating sales via the written word. So whether that is an advertisement, email, a newsletter, or even a blog article, if the intention of that piece of content is to generate a sale, well, that's the job of a copywriter. We have several of these on staff throughout my different businesses, and it's one of the highest paying roles that we have in the entire organization. All right, number two is a graphic designer. So whether they're designing advertisements like ad creatives, keynote templates, logos, iconography, what have you, these are still in high demand. Lots of folks tend to think that tools like Canva have replaced many graphic designers. And I'm sure it has replaced a lot of kind of, you know, the average graphic designers out there. But for businesses with high budgets and high demand, they are still looking for highly intelligent, artistic, creative people to create graphics for them. And I know several graphic designers earning six figures per year. Number three is gonna be a developer. So whether you're talking about front-end development, back-end development, uh, full-stack developer, app creation, developers are also still in high demand. And gone are the days of them having to be, you know, scrunched into some office somewhere, sitting in front of a computer. More and more often, developers are working from home. All right, number four, and this is gonna be one of my favorites. This is sales, and specifically high ticket sales. So as the e-learning industry continues to grow into the billions and billions, and as more course creators, coaches, consultants, and experts tend to enter the marketplace, there is an increasing demand for salespeople that can pick up the phone and close a 10, 20, 30, 50, even $100,000 package for high-end consulting or business services. So these folks are able to work from home, potentially even in their pajamas, taking qualified calls from folks and, and walking them through a high-end purchasing process and potentially seeing the value in investing 10, 20, 30, 50, 100,000 dollars in changing their life or changing their business. This role right here is one that we are constantly hiring for in my businesses and our top reps can be making anywhere from 20 to 40,000 dollars a month. So when I say that you can make millions of dollars working from home with this skill set, I mean it. I know it because I'm writing those checks. All right, number five is gonna be very closely related to number four, and that is the role of a setter. So as you can imagine, you know, not just anybody can walk into a sales team and start closing 10, 20, 30, 50, $100,000 packages over the phone. That takes a very dialed in skill set. But one way to enter into the industry is through the role of a setter. And this is a role that's constantly being hired for as well. The role of a setter is basically to sift through qualified leads and to figure out who is gonna be a good fit for the product, offer, or service that is being promoted or sold. Once they've identified a high quality prospect, their job is then to pass it on to the sales representative who is best fit to close that deal. Now, you don't quite make the same amount of money as you would as a high ticket sales rep. However, if you can show promise and skill set and sharpen your teeth as a setter, typically these are the people that get advanced into a high ticket sales role. So again, it's a way for you to get started and eventually earn your way into a multi six or even seven figure sales position. So number six is a very common role across lots of different industries and that is the role of data entry. Plainly put, the role of somebody in data entry is to take all of the information from different tools and technologies that are being used by an organization and compile that information into one spreadsheet or one place, one dashboard, wherein the business can utilize all of that information to make data driven decisions. For us as an example, our data entry people are pulling in information and numbers from our CRMs, from our email platforms, from even our advertising platforms, so on and so forth, and they're putting it all into spreadsheets so that our marketing and sales teams can then look at that data and make data-driven decisions about what changes need to be made in the organization. And number seven is also a very common role to lots of different industries, and that is the role of tech and customer support. So in my business as well, we have 24-7 customer support. So we have people in different time zones on the clock, all hours of day and night answering our support tickets. The beautiful thing about having a tech or customer support role is that it's a pretty simple entry level role. Most of the skills can be pretty easily acquired and it gives you the ability to work from home and answer support tickets on a schedule that works for you. Hey, uh, Keala is a uh, editor on that list? No, Sam, I'm talking about important roles. Oh, I... 
Also, I will be needing this at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, oh. and I want it well done or you will go back in your cage. In the morning? But I'm getting married, I, I just can't leave. Back to the things that matter. Number eight is one of my favorites, and that's because this is one of those skills that I use to sharpen my teeth as an entrepreneur, and that is the role of a media buyer. A media buyer's job is to buy advertisements for businesses. So if you have a great product offer or service and you wanna get it in front of more people, well then that's where a media buyer steps in. They will then create and run advertisements for you on platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Google, Bing, Yahoo, so on and so forth. And so their job is to analyze that data and make data-driven adjustments to ensure that your advertisements are generating a return on investment for you, or what we call a return on ad spend, and to ensure that you're targeting and getting in front of the right people. This is an interesting role because it can typically be still a very creative and yet also analytical role as well. And good media buyers easily make six figures a year or more. All right, number nine is gonna be web and funnel design. And I'm not talking about those old, outdated web designers who built stale websites like we've all seen back in the 90s. No, when it comes to funnel design, I'm talking about you know, the direct response marketing industry that is looking to you know, generate a, a click from a prospect online and take that prospect all the way through an online journey that eventually gets them to want to pull out their credit card and buy. So somebody who is great at funnel design is also somebody who understands what it takes in terms of design to generate conversions. This isn't somebody that's building some outdated blog. This is somebody that's building something that directly makes you revenue as a business owner. Great funnel designers, easily over six figures per year. Number 10 is a social media manager. And this is something that is becoming increasingly popular again. Back when I first learned about social media management in 2010, 2011, you know, a social media manager was somebody that came up with an entire social media strategy. Over the years, that role has become pretty diluted. And a lot of times now, people that call themselves a social media manager are really just somebody who will log into your social media accounts and cross post your content on several different platforms. You know, useless, like my guy Sam behind the camera. I'm entirely kidding, they are not useless. I'm simply saying that the role or the title has been diluted over time. What used to be a role that entailed big picture strategy and making sure that you're maximizing social reach has oftentimes become, you know, somebody who is mostly just posting your content online for you. However, if you can be a social media manager that can develop big picture strategy and tactics to help somebody really grow their social media reach, easily another six figure per year role. Number 11 is a role that I'm actively hiring for right now as I'm filming this video, and that is the role of a data scientist. This is probably underappreciated by most entrepreneurs. And in fact, most of the businesses that I end up consulting with or people that I meet at masterminds that end up asking me for help, the reason that they need help growing their business is because they are not taking data seriously enough. They are not making data-driven decisions. Instead, they have some entrepreneur at the helm who's saying, well, based on my gut feeling, or you know, I have this intuition, their intuition that's driving their business right off a cliff most of the time. Now, the interesting thing about data is that it's only as good as the person who is interpreting it because data by itself is useless. It doesn't matter how much data you have. In fact, many times people have too much data and it's the thing that's keeping them from making the right decisions. So it's not just about having good data, but it's about being able to interpret the story that that data is telling. And that is where a data scientist comes in. I predict that this is going to become an increasingly important role for businesses as more and more businesses move to online strategies and hiring remote workforces. So if you would like to apply for any one of these jobs that I just covered, feel free to reach out to me at do not reach out to me ever about these jobs at gmail.com. I'm just kidding. Uh, if we are hiring, it is clearly stated somewhere on our website and you will find that website somewhere down in the description. By the way, if you are somebody that is serious about success in life and in business, then make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you get notified every week when I drop more content like this. And in case we've never met before, my name is Kala Kanai. I'm an entrepreneur that went from working in a coffee shop like this to building multiple seven and eight figure businesses. And I say that so that you know that everything that I share on my channel comes from real world applied knowledge of things that I've learned and done in my life that have helped me create that transition. And I share it here in hopes that it helps you create similar results as well. So make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and make sure you watch that next video in the lineup where I'm gonna go much deeper on topics like this to help you earn some extra income from home. Mm -hmm.